so the Tele Gizmo 365, as you might guess from the name, is a bag designed to be housing your telescope 365 days of the year. And I've been using it since before I've gotten my observatory. So while I do love my observatory, it is sort of that stuck in one spot, whereas the Tele Gizmo bag, I'm able to set it up anywhere in the yard I want and go further afield and have a portable observatory for those late night shutdown sessions where I don't necessarily want to pack up the telescope at 3 a.m. in the morning. With pricing starting as low as $65, and I think the most expensive one tops out about $350. So overall, this is a very affordable solution if you don't want to actually go out and get a full observatory, uh, which can cost thousands and thousands of dollars. All right, let's say it's two o'clock in the morning and you have a telescope out here and there are some rain clouds coming in and you don't have time to really take apart your entire setup. Although maybe not this setup here, you can just lift and go, but let's go with this as an example. So here you are, you got your telescope set up, you're imaging or you're looking visually through it or whatnot. And you're thinking, I need to actually like shut this down. Well, you have two options. One is take this apart and take it inside or the other option is to basically protect it where it's sitting. Which is where this comes in very nicely. I'm just doing a quick little demo. So yes, it does come with this drawstring, um, which actually works pretty well, especially if you want to close it off at the bottom. And basically take it like so. And obviously this is oversized for this tiny little scope. from the elements from pretty much everything if you have a battery it would be sitting underneath uh, for this actual system I actually have the AA batteries inside the mount so I don't have to actually carry a separate battery pack but there you go it's now protected if it's rainy it's windy or it's just simply two o'clock in the morning and I want to go to bed all I have to do is cover the scope and head inside and I'm good to go come back a couple hours later and unpack it in the morning and everyone's happy much easier than having to do it beforehand and when i was doing remote telescope work and going out to like remote locations this is what i used little things or doing some of my night tests this is sort of what i'll use the setup uh earlier in the day like this and i'll come back i'll unwrap it at night do my quick test and then plop it back together so for me it makes sense it gives me sort of a mini observatory so that my larger observatory can be focused on taking some nice deep sky objects, I can actually use this as a little test base. Why to get that extra work out? But it's made of like really durable, I don't know what this material is, maybe it's written on here. I know there's tags, aha, tags, it's all quality here. What does it say? say? It says it's made of suffocation hazard. Do not place head or body in cover, keep away from children results of injury and death uh, from using this. Yeah, so this is not a uh, hat. Very important, not a hat. Um, but it doesn't actually tell me what it's made out of. But yeah, no, it's, it's made of uh, actually surprisingly thick material. It is UV resistant. Um, I've had this for a couple years now, and other than the fact it's a little dirty, it works, it looks just like brand new, um, where it's not dirty parts. Should probably clean this before this. Um, it then has this uh, nylon webbing on it, and it is really well constructed. Like I've had this for a while, I've used it several times, and this nylon webbing looks absolutely like perfectly good condition. Um, on the inside uh, is a reflective layer. So you can see here. So we're gonna jump over to the Telegizmo website for a second here to show you all the different type of 365 bags they make. Uh, they have some for Dobbs and for SETs as well as for your tripod. They also make a bunch of other standard covers for various telescopes. Uh, and actually, while I said earlier that mine was the biggest, they do have one for some of the bigger Dobsonian models. Now, as you might guess from my t-shirt, these are available from High Point Scientific. They are one of the distributors in North America and a great place to get it. And oh yeah, so dirty. If you are further afield and High Point might not be your best option, the next option I would recommend is directly off of the Telegizmo page. 
I will leave affiliate links in the description below for you to check out if you want to. Any purchases made through those links um, help the channel and allow me to bring new equipment like this, probably a little bit cleaner because I've had this for a while, um, to review and let you know about. Because honestly, this is an absolutely great product um, and I've used it extensively at Starfest for a couple days and not have to take it down and have to completely do my recalibration every single night, especially for polar alignment. Because despite having really good polar alignment, um, there's always that little tweak that you can do. So Telegizmo bags, you should totally get one. Um, they're not that expensive and they are absolutely amazing, especially when clouds go nasty and rain is in the forecast. So that's it for me in this video. If you wanna learn more uh, about my big observatory, check out the video above. And if you wanna see whatever YouTube thinks is good for you, check out this video here. Because, you know, YouTube apparently thinks it knows better than me. Prove it wrong. Also hit like and subscribe. Thanks.